It's the song that's gone viral in Tunisia, Khomeini. Everyone knows the words on this university campus. We live like trash in a garbage can, the lyric goes. The rapper Hamzawi filmed his video in Ariana, a poor suburb of Tunis. Life is hard, jobs are scarce, but people help each other just to get by. We dreamt about the revolution. Well, I call it a fake dream. I thought Tunis will be like Copenhagen or Amsterdam, but it remains the same. There is more freedom now to speak out, although some rappers have gone to prison for insulting the authorities. But after their revolution, Tunisians refused to stay silent. Three years on, the protesters are still out on the streets of Tunis and so are the riot police. And they're still shouting, dégage. In French, that means leave. That's what they shouted to President Ben Ali's regime. And they're shouting at the leaders now too, as the struggle for greater democracy goes on. The old police state is still largely intact. And there are new security fears after attacks blamed on radical Salafist groups. Enada has betrayed Tunisia, they shout, referring to the government dominated by the moderate Islamic party. Do you worry you've let people down? People have high expectations. We didn't answer all those expectations, but we are working on bringing about democracy. We're on the last phase on moving towards free, fair elections and a democratic constitution. What is your greatest fear now for Tunisia? I'm afraid Tunisians will become so disappointed with their politicians that their desire for security will be greater than their hope in democracy, and so they might turn to the military and ask them for security. Enada has shown itself willing to share power with secular parties. Some just pulled out of a national dialogue. But this isn't Egypt, where the ruling Islamic party was forcibly ousted. Tunisia prides itself on its tolerant culture. But if politicians don't tackle these mounting worries, the nation regarded as the last hope for the Arab Spring could also lose its way. Lise Doucette, BBC News, Tunis.